board in regards to this uh, discussion item. Okay. Hearing none, let's proceed. What you have before you is the spreadsheet that we use to um, help us and guide us through the, the whole process of propose, the proposed budget and balancing the budget. Uh, board members have seen this before, and this is uh, just a reminder. I will go over the columns very quickly. Um, what you see at the top of your screen, and starting with column A, is the budget unit then it goes to the department and the description of the department. We start with the net county cost final adopted from last year, 2007-08. Um, this year, uh, this is a new column that I've put in here to sort of show the board how we've tied the number for the uh, projected fund balance carryover into the budget and how it's used. This is a column for an FYI only. In other words, the numbers don't go across the spreadsheet they're only going down the spreadsheet to give you a total which is what's showing over here in the right hand column in column in under fund balance carryover 2708 fund balance carryover so that's why I put this in your spreadsheet the next column is the proposed net county cost allocations with a six percent reduction uh, distributed on March 13th to departments um, and then what was submitted by departments is column J. Column L is the actual impacts stated by the departments in their budget. And I just provided that for reference to um, show you what they had stated was their impacts. And then column M is the CEO recommendations, including the auditor's adjustments and market rate adjustments and insurance adjustments. Column in is actually the balancing column where we start off with um, our budget unit 1000. <clears throat> Going back to column C, you have $60 million, which is um, 602.99616, which is the final adopted revenue. And you can refer back to the um, spreadsheet that Meredith just went over for that number. Then the final number over here to the right in column in is what we're projecting with adjustments as projected by the auditor for total revenues. This does not include tobacco settlement funds, which I've stated separately, and does not include the Mill Creek Dam insurance revenue that we're projecting to receive. So if you take that top number of 58 million, our fund balance carryover that we are projecting to get, $500,000 for Mill Creek Dam insurance and the tobacco settlement funds, we come to a total of $61 million in revenue. Going down the spreadsheet, um, the next group of items is our fixed cost contributions from the general fund. As we've stated to you before in the past and the years prior, we start off with what our revenue is going to be and what we're projecting our revenue to be. And we take the fixed costs first before we start allocating distributions to the departments. And we look at what our COPs are every year because there's a, a co contribution to that. We, this year we looked at market adjustments. We, are looking, we looked and reviewed our workers' comp cost increases and our general liability increases or decreases, as well as our unemployment. We put these numbers on the spreadsheet to begin with, and as the numbers are refined and moved from this total number down into the department's budgets, that's why you see it zero over to the right in the column. So the only thing that we have here in this, what's left in here is the $1.6 million to the uh, certificates of, of participation. The remainder of these fixed costs were now moved to the departmental budgets. And stop me if you have any questions as we go along the way, or if you would like me to speed it up a little bit. Um, 
The next thing that we look at is our new program costs and board priorities from the general fund. We basically had no new program costs or board priorities as we had talked about this in January, sometime in January or in February. The only thing that I'm showing here is the vehicle replacement fund, which doesn't have a cost associated in the FAR column in because it was moved out to the departments when we did the adjustments. We actually are suspending this program this year, so it's not really a funded program, it's actually a suspension of program, and we wanted to show that separately. The next group is the prior year program costs and board priorities from the general fund. Um, contingency fund is listed, and Basically, on your spreadsheet, I changed this a little bit, but to make it more clear, we had 600000 in contingency. It is now p part of our projected fund balance carryover. We started off the proposed budget in January hoping that we could put some more money in contingency, as that's why you see the $200,000. As it turned out, we needed to, um, to use that funding to help balance the budget. But what is in there now is $500,000 as recommended to go into contingency for the Mill Creek Dam Insurance Reimbursement. The county microwave system um, is uh, a prior year program cost that was approved by the board. Uh, the, as you recall, the first payment in January is for approximately $290,000. Uh, the general fund contribution this year is going to be $186,000. The remainder of the funding for the 290 is coming from federal funding, which we've anticipated receiving in sometime at the end of this fiscal year, at the beginning of the f next fiscal year, to help fund that first payment. Mental health, uh, we pulled this out separately. Um, this is a general fund contribution for services provided to the jail for mental health services. Uh, the, there was a shortfall in the mental health budget this year to help fund these services, and the general fund is there is a general fund contribution associated with mental health services to the jail for this year. And finally, Willits and Ukiah court transfers. Um, we had this listed at fifty thousand dollars and is now moved to down into the miscellaneous budget as an upfront priority from last year. So that leads us to the net available net county cost after all the fixed fixed costs and priorities for from the board, uh, which now is at fifty nine million one ninety four four forty nine. Moving down, we start with the justice departments, um, the enhanced court collection program. Basically, t budget unit 2010 has absolutely no net county cost because it's offset with revenue received in budget unit 2012. On the next item, $1.1 million negative net county costs are basically the cost for the court enhanced court collection program. Jennifer, can I interrupt you yes. just a second? I do believe uh, Supervisor Delbar has a question on regards to the first page. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 